Finally, time to get after some elk. I'm heading up today, meet up with a couple of uh, guides for Deadline Outfitters, and we are gonna uh, film an elk hunt. Client John Primazing, he was the same hunter we had last year for the moose hunt, and he's letting me tag along and film his elk hunt this year as well. Super excited about this. There are some fantastic bulls in this unit. We're gonna get up here. We got a while to go. It'll probably be dark when I get there, but we'll meet up with, uh, I think it's Trevor, Joe, and then their hunter, John. And anyway, so, uh, stick around. We'll meet with those guys. We're getting after elk in the morning if I don't lose my trailer. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. So, good morning. Uh, I met up with uh, guy Trevor, John. You guys remember him from the moose hunt last year? Actually, you probably remember Trevor fixing his truck in the moose hunt last year. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's opening morning and glass up a herd over here looks like a pretty nice bull in that we talked to you guys about that one bull that we saw the other day we're gonna let him slide for a bit he is an 8x8 but we're thinking he's a high 360s maybe a low 170s bull so we're gonna see if we can't find something one level above that so we'll see what happens this bull has got some potential but we can't see him very well yet so we're waiting for the sun to come up so we can check him out He's got the really he's got the front end to be one. His fours and fours are okay. Yeah. Five, six, yep. He said needs another probably another year or two. Mm-hmm. Just save your tag, we'll come get him next year. <laughs> 
All right, well, we got a better look at that bull. Uh, yeah, he's gonna finish in that. Trevor thinks he'd be about a 360 something bull. So any other unit in this state, I guarantee you we'd be going after that sucker, but there's a lot better bulls than that in here. So we're gonna keep looking. Fresh. Yeah, it is. That's today. Those one in here a couple days ago, they were just, they were like that one. Yeah. Well, you know with that water running in, it's going to settle out pretty yeah. quick if they had it in here. So. Are we back up here? <laughs> in here. Maybe. Would they uh, use that again this evening, you think? Well, they, they, they did last. The other when that when you guys saw that bull, you guys saw him down here. We picked him up here, and there's him and a five point coming down. So there's one more down here with the truck. I haven't been hitting it very hard. in there either last night or this morning yeah. i'd say this morning early I they were in there is that so as black still? as that water was yeah, yeah. and hmm. all a guy can do is there's a, there's there's the bottom road a middle road and an upper road you can sit on the upper road and you can look clear across over here and see, see when they're coming down see when they're coming down just give guy you know and they were coming down early we saw them probably at like 6 6 30 the other night. Okay. So it'd give a guy enough time if he needed to to hustle down here and if the wind was right and be sitting here when they hit the bottom. That's true. Where they wallowed that they went back up into here and that where it's warm today, maybe they'll start working their way back down. That's what so the, that's we see these bowls we're yes. gonna hide here. Right? We're gonna go, we're gonna drop down that bottom trail, we're gonna come part way back in and then we're gonna jump out come up the road kind of off the tree line and then just slip into it hopefully get there before they get down they really take their time coming down they just kind of creep along and don't get really excited i mean we watched sat up here and watched them last time for 45 minutes and that bull the whole time was right in that open spot he was just kind of fiddling around so i don't think they'll be in a big hurry to get down there and then so that way we can just come around kind of hopefully meet them as they hit the bottom and then if we don't meet them, we'll set up and wait for them? Yep. If they're not there yet, we'll just wait for them. Because the wind should be going down the canyon. We'll just sit down below them wallows. And hopefully they come through and whack him. I like the plan. I do too. That and there's a beautiful log for you to sit on. Yep. Or lean against. Or lean against, yes. I'm all about comfort while we're out doing this stuff. Yeah, you, it, should, you should be. It doesn't have to be all about, you know, sweating and brute force and grittiness. Sometimes you just have to sit back on a log and glass. Use your brain. Exactly. Just work smarter. Not hurt. Atta boy. I like it. I've been 
called boy in a long time, 66. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I use weird terminology. Yeah. My response to that's usually I got enough hair on my ass to weave a Navajo Indian blanket and you call me boy. <laughs> If you can see them, they're going to be 100 yards or less. Yeah, but if we can see them, they can see us, can't they? Mm, generally. They're usually better at it than we are. Yeah. But we just got to be Indian-like. Pardon? Indian-like. Put your teepee creepers on. You got to take your boots off and you got socks, right? Yeah. I, I got those stealth things, those big things that go the on the bottom. The foamies? Yeah. Yeah. Put those on. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, they'll tolerate a little noise. With that wind, they're not going to hear you very good. Good idea. Got to have plans. If yeah. you don't have plans, then you just... Plan, you don't have... No, just... Run around sitting in the back of your razor with your bow in your hand. <laughs> you gotta admit, that was funny. You can explain that story. Oh, yeah. So, John and I went out for a uh, tour today, and um, we uh, had the pleasure of seeing some gentlemen in a... Uh, Players razor coming by and they had uh, um, what would you call those uh, nursing masks on sure. doctor's masks yeah. and uh, and there was two in the front seat and then a gentleman in the back standing in the back with his bow on top knocked it had an arrow knocked and was <laughs> cocked and locked and ready to rock and hoping that some poor deer would step out in front of them so he's safari hunting yeah yes exactly yeah <laughs> kind of like the, the the high the high rack yeah, but he was in the back of a razor. <laughs> that 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 right there is that's that, I think that could be traditional bow hunting in Idaho. I don't know. <laughs> but it's classic. I still don't think it's as good as the guy that was we saw that was his wife was driving the pickup and he was sitting in a lounge chair in the back seat with a in the back of the truck the bed of the truck with his bow and an arrow and she was driving him around god's honest truth he's seen it true story a lounge chair <laughs> yes yeah yeah he was sitting in a lounge chair in the back of the truck and she's driving and he's sitting there watching is that legal it is until you draw and shoot out of the truck you can't do that. You're supposed to get out of the vehicle and be off the edge of the road. So. Well, he had a. I'm pretty an sure. Arrow. Yeah. He was. Right? Yeah. He, wasn't he was not. Out of the truck. Oh heavens no! I'm sure he wasn't getting out of the truck. Probably wasn't killing anything either. So <laughs> unless you hit it with the damn truck. My favorite one that I saw was these guys ahead of us in a pickup, and the, a woman was driving, and there's three guys in the back of the truck. They have a mattress strapped to the top, the top of the truck with a, a motorcycle strap that goes clear through the cab through the doors mm -hmm. strapped down and they got their bows laying on there with their arrows knocked and they're riding in the back of the truck looking around <laughs> and they're driving they're down the road. care of their, their archery well they didn't want to scratch the top of the truck <laughs> they were they were on a dirt road though yes sir yeah. mm -hmm. they on a paper. no no just on dirt but very classy that's Awesome. Come on, bully, 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 bully. I want to see some buckskin beauty coming down that mountain. Watch, they'll come off of that one and go hit that one that down in the bottom. bottom <laughs> Don't talk like that. We can get there. It's to be shorter drive. Yeah, how do you know what, which one they're going to go to? Because there's one down there. Yeah. And then there's three up here. Well, they're going to go to the three. That's where I'd camp out at. Oh, I would too. But if you're at the three and they don't show up and they go to the one, how do you know they went to the one? It'd be muddy. Yeah. Well, well we're hoping <laughs> they're going to talk a little and, you know, brag about being at the one. <laughs> at the one. Yeah. I'm at the one. We're at the three. <laughs> I'm, at the, I'm at the one. Booty call. Getting all perfumed up for his date. <laughs> 